Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My boyfriend wants me to stop having my period. Can I even recover from this? <laughs> what? I don't think he understands that a woman not having the period means it's really bad for their body. Like literally your hormones are all messed up. That's why you stop having your period or literally something is wrong with your body or you're pregnant. We've been dating for two months. Things have been going well. Yesterday he asked me to go to the gym with him and I declined saying I don't feel up to it. I started my period. He was all like, wait, what? And I repeated myself. Then he goes, you know, you don't have to do that to yourself, right? I was like, dude, what are you saying? He goes on to explain that his ex was on a type of birth control that got rid of her period and overall made the relationship more enjoyable. Girl, you've only been dating him for two months. Okay, replace him. Thank you, bye. Imagine a man telling you to stop your period to make it more enjoyable for him. Oh, he asked me to consider doing the same. I told him absolutely not. I don't want to switch birth control methods and if he doesn't like me having periods, then he can dump me. I told him good luck finding a girl who doesn't have a period. He said, I already had one, I'll find another. I'm so appalled, what is wrong with him? I know there are methods to stop periods, but for him to imply that I'm a rarity for having them was insane. This is the first time I've brought up my period to him. <sighs> I'm a 23 year old girl, of course I have periods. I know he was making a suggestion and probably meant well. No, he did not mean well. He meant well for himself. <laughs> he doesn't want you to have your period because he meant well for himself. But that's a crazy thing to suggest. I should get rid of my period for his enjoyment. I'm so mad at him. I don't think I can recover from this. It just shows how dumb he is. What do you all think? Can I even recover from this or should I just end it while I'm ahead? Yes, just end it. It's only been two months, girl. It's fine. He's already shown you his true nature. He told you. I already had one. I'll find another. Okay, at that point, the relationship is already over, no? He literally just said... I'll find another girl who won't have the period. <laughs> Good luck. Like, thank you, you trash. Thank you for taking yourself out. Bye. Seriously, I feel like standards right now for everyone are just so damn low. If someone says this to you, that's for sure a no-no. Like, that's something you should dump someone over, okay? You shouldn't be like, but I don't know. Am I the one that's insane? <laughs> girl. You know it, you know it in your heart. My girlfriend paid for everyone at a restaurant except for me, which made me sad. How do I address this? I'm not sure if I'm making this bigger than it is or not. So my girlfriend invited me and four other people, her mum, her best friend and her uncle and aunt to a burger and steak place. My girlfriend and I already went there once. It's a really great place. The burgers there are slightly more expensive than usual, but the quality is so good that most people wouldn't mind paying a bit extra for a burger. I'm talking 16 to 22 pounds for a burger with small fries on the side. We all had a great time together, but when it was about time to pay, my girlfriend told the waiter that she'll pay for everyone except for me. She then leans in a bit to me and says, sorry, but you know, we, her mum and her are not so rich. The total bill was about £300 and my share was £30. At first, she also said she wouldn't pay for her best friend, but she, her best friend, then told my girlfriend something like, you forgot about X. I couldn't really hear it, but it was probably an open debt for something. I would definitely be sad if I didn't hear that, and she intended to really pay for everyone except for me. It's been bugging me. I tried to find the chat where my girlfriend invites me but couldn't find it because I wanted to make sure that I didn't misread it. I remembered it as that she said she has invited all the others and would be happy to have me there as well and that it will be on her. It's not about the money. We don't split bills or so. When we're out all together, I will usually pay for everything and I don't mind. When we first meet, she was about to finish school and started her first real-time job around four months ago. For me, it was more like, hey, she's inviting me. How nice of her. And then at the end, when she told the waiter I will pay for myself, it just sucked or took away the kindness out of the invitation, if it makes sense. I'm planning on at least talking about it, but I'm not sure if I'm making it bigger than it is not. Advice would really be appreciated here. Of course, you should talk about it to her. That's so mean. That's actually so rude. Imagine your boyfriend paying for everything, right? <laughs> and you can't even pay for him for that one time that you invite him out. That's messed up. That's actually messed up. It just doesn't make sense to pay for everyone else and not one person. It's so rude, you know? It's like, what? Imagine your partner being like, yeah, I'll pay for everyone on this table except her. She can pay for herself. So yeah, bill her separately. 
that's rude and I can tell that this person doesn't care about the money but the principal because he felt like he got invited so she invited him and he was excited to get treated for like what the first time and then she takes that away from him like obviously he can pay for himself he can afford it but the way that it just made him feel would also be something that I would freaking get mad over too you invited me out you said it was on you and you decided to put me on the spot that's messed up that's freaking messed up and I'm surprised like none of her family members were like oh yeah no 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 we got this too we got this we got you you know let me pay I found hidden camera footage of another girl on my boyfriend's phone should I tell her <gasps> your boyfriend's a creep a couple of nights ago I went through my boyfriend's phone we were fighting last weekend and haven't been having sex for a while so I guess I felt he was hiding something I found a secure folder on his phone with pictures of a bunch of his friends, girls from high school, of their social media. But the most jarring find was a video that he got from a hidden camera he placed in his bathroom, knowing this girl would be house-sitting it while we were on vacation. She was getting ready to shower and you could see everything. I confronted him and he panicked. He admits he has a problem, would talk to someone. He says he deleted everything but I'm not sure. I need to go to his house still and remove the camera. He's basically begging me not to tell her. He says there are other ways for him to reconcile this therapy ah screw you go to jail no way this girl is not a girl's girl she's really questioning whether she should tell the girl or not would you like it if your friend's boyfriend violated your privacy and your friend didn't tell you would you like that obviously not my question is do i tell the girl she considers him a friend we have both hung out with her in a group setting if I tell her, he will most likely lose a lot of his friends group. I know his fault. Because she is friends with all of his friends. Obviously, I'm breaking up with him. I just don't know if telling her is the right thing to do. Or if it will cause more pain. I haven't been able to talk to anyone about this and I need some outside clarity on this situation. <laughs> Honestly, I, I just can't with some people. Like, oh. Your boyfriend did something that's illegal. And you're really gonna be like, should I tell her? I don't know if I should tell her. Because it's gonna hurt him. He's gonna lose all his friends. Okay, girl. Alright. It's not even like this is a small thing. This is literally a crime. Girl, just tell her. Seriously, like there's nothing else to think about. Just tell her so she knows. And so all those videos can be removed. Because what if your boyfriend backed up those videos and blah, 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 right? And something happens and they get leaked or whatever. You're going to ruin that girl's life. And then he'll get arrested, right? Good, because actions come with consequences. And here's the thing that I'm just thinking is if he does this to like a friend, doesn't that mean he also has videos of this person too, but she just doesn't know about it? That could be a possibility, right? Hmm, so yeah. Check his PC and everything. Okay. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.